Sana Khan and you're watching MediCircle. Today we have with us Dr. Arnab Karmakar. He has an experience of 10 years as an MS Orthopedics at SSKM Hospital in Kolkata. And now he's working there as an Associate Professor for the Department of Orthopedics. Please welcome him to our show, Dr. Speak. Hi, Dr. Arnab, how are you? Hello, I'm good. Okay, uh, so Dr. I hope everyone is also good. Thank you. Okay, so to begin with, about one third of people above 65 years are prone to falls and thus suffer from devastating hip fractures each year. So what can a patient do to maintain good bone health? Yeah, very good and a very pertinent uh, question and query. I think the uh, people uh, above 65 years old uh, most of them actually having osteoporosis, which is uh, porotic bones, and the bones are very weak from inside. So whenever they have a uh, even a very trivial trauma at home, a very household injury, they fall at bathroom or somewhere, they had actually suffered a big fracture. And the outcome of these fractures are not always very good, even if you treat it with a proper surgery, because it's a very big trauma. It's a mental and physical trauma for them. So the best thing we can do uh, to have a very good outcome for this age group of patient is that if we can prevent the osteoporosis or if we can make the bone strong from the internal structure. So for that thing, it is very necessary that we detect osteoporosis or weak or porous bone from at its starting point. That means maybe for women, it is around 45 years or for men, it is around 50 to 55 years. Mm -hmm. So having detected of osteoporosis is very important. And to start the initial therapy of osteoporosis is also very utmost importance. But yeah. what is most important is that uh, having a very good and balanced diet plan for them, mm -hmm. which can actually provide the adequate amount of calcium and vitamin D, which is responsible for maintaining a very good health for our bones. Okay, uh, how can we keep our bones healthy and avoid orthopedic problems? Yeah, so that is what I told that prevention is always a better option than treating any diseases. So if you understand the common orthopedic problems, maybe, maybe a low back pain, maybe a knee pain, maybe a neck pain. So most of them are actually because of a unhealthy lifestyle and mm -hmm. a weak uh, bones and muscles. Mm -hmm. So as we already discussed about big bones that we need to detect the osteoporosis from the very beginning stage. We need to have a very proper diet plan so that the adequate amount of calcium and other nutrients are there. And mm -hmm. one another thing is that we should have a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. so that we should do some amount of physical exercise every day which will keep our bones and muscles very very healthy. Mm -hmm. So togetherly if you do all these things together from a very young age, if you have a healthy lifestyle, I think you can stop this uh, orthopedic problems in your future. Okay. Uh, any myths around knee replacement surgery you would like to clear? Yeah, I think uh, there are a lot of myths around knee replacement surgeries okay. because uh, there are a lot, lot of patients are suffering from stage four osteoarthritis. That is the end stage disease. So at stage four, there is no other option left. Uh, only the option is to replace the knee joint. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that what most of the people think and the social stigma is that, that uh, even if you go for a knee replacement, 90% uh, of them will not be able to work normally like they were before. Or might be they are afraid of that, okay, my own knee will not be there. There will be something metallic in our body and these metals will actually cause harm to my body. So all these myths are there. Some patients say that I don't feel that my legs are there. I feel that they are not there. So this, this social stigma is like spreading, right? Mm -hmm. So these are all myths, as you already pointed out, these are all myths. So uh, if I break it down in three points that after doing a properly done total knee replacement, yes, you can work as much as you can. You can climb stairs, you can take private communication services. What we don't allow to do is we don't allow to sit in floor. 
that is the only thing a patient cannot do rest all this patient can drive a car they can play golf they can do their all physical activity so it's not not something that people should be afraid of okay what is the impact of corona virus outbreak in your life and how are you dealing with it yeah so i think uh, corona virus has affected everyone starting from every level of people exactly. and being a doctor uh, it's very uh, difficult and also it's it's a huge responsibility right. to keep myself free from the infection and also i make sure that i don't propagate the infection to my patients yes. so it has made me more responsible we have been more cautious still we are fighting with very practicality i think there is nothing to be very panicky of or nothing to be very afraid of because uh, doing panic will make us nervous make us depressed so all these thing will, will be a negative thing so rather uh, we should face it with very positivity and we should keep engaged in positive thoughts or positive works maybe in whatever hobbies we have and we should be practice the safety guidelines always We, we should not be very reluctant at any point of time that right. corona cannot affect me everybody can be affected by corona so safety measures should not be loosened it should be practiced like wearing mask and keeping your your hygiene right. keeping your hand washing repeatedly all these things has to be practiced properly thank you so much dr anup for coming to our show and giving us the opportunity to have a chat with you it has been a pleasure having you on our show Thank you so much sir. Thank you. Have a good day sir.